All right, we're ready to get it on with the sawmill build here. And since this engine has an electric start, I think we're going to position a battery up in this area right here, so I need to make a tray for that. I don't think I've shown this uh, back assembly here yet. Uh, it's just some quarter inch plate and a tube going across. Um, there'll be some bolts going through it, but I also want to incorporate the lift pulleys into it. So I'm waiting on some pulleys to show up. Um, there are seven of them in this lift system that I will have on here. So I want to make sure that I'm not putting anything in the way of other parts yet. Um, so those are kind of holding things up. In the meantime, the piece of tube that gave me the engine mount is uh, going to also give me a battery tray. So I've got that marked out here. Um, cut that off with an abrasive wheel. Um, might stick some lightning holes in it to make it easier to clean out. I think I introduced the motor mount coming out of that piece of tubing, but I didn't really show any pictures of it yet. Um, have the engine position where it's going to be, so that needs to be removed and the holes drilled for the engine mounts uh, that will be slotted so the engine can be slid over. It's not going to be a lot of adjustment, but with the right belt should be okay. Well, I needed to make up these cables and I didn't have a way to uh, do the swedging on there and I didn't want to buy a real expensive tool to do it um, so I did get the job done a $12 uh, Harbor Freight bolt cutter and uh, notched out the jaw in it it's not going to be much good for cutting bolts anymore but uh, I guess down close you could but it does a really good job of uh, swedging 3 16 cable now, so I have a tool for that. Well, we've had rain pretty much the whole week, and uh, it's been threatening here to cut loose any time now. I've been running this in and out of the shop to uh, get work done on it. Starting to get a little rust here and there on it from just the moisture in the air. Um, so since last time, I've got uh, I've got the lift system put on. This is that uh, ultra high molecular plastic UHMW. That's going to be on both sides of this for the slide part of it. I put these bars in here, and the plastic will be attached to it. These holes go all the way through so I can drill it and then uh, I'll put pop rivets on the other side and some recessed holes and then I have to accomplish the same thing on the front side. Um, the pulleys came in and these are for exercise equipment, gym equipment and got seven of them on here. built the uh, jack that's going to run the system so I've got an anchor point on the saw head down here that's just tacked on right now so I need to get that welded in solid before I put the plastic in so I don't melt it um, I have adjusters here with a good amount of adjustment in it um, this is the jack that I made up. Telescoping tube with a screw inside of it. And uh, it has a double pulley on the end of it for the cable. The 
these tubes don't fit together real well so I ended up taking some of the UHMW and I made uh, kind of these plugs um, they're bigger on the inside so that's what spaces it out and uh, holds it where it's at and I'll show what all that looks like later on um, when I tear things down here and uh, start painting things but uh, got a handle here so far don't have the actual hand grip on it yet but this will be what raises and lowers the head um, got this rocking assembly here so this pin will be able to go into holes in this plate on the side so it can be locked in position um, there's still going to be a leg across here with a spring in there which will end up driving that down to lock it into the hole so you uh, push down on the handle here and then turn it and that's what will raise the head up We took a run out to a salvage uh, for barrels and uh, I picked up several barrels and you're probably wondering what do barrels have to do with the sawmill and one of the things that we need to do is to make covers uh, for the band wheels when it's running and the idea came to me that these look a lot like covers um, so we'll just have to cut sections of those off and turn them into covers and then uh, create some sort of a cover that goes across the top uh, to enclose the rest of the band at the top the black drums came with some kind of a corn syrup or something like that in them these were uh, manufacturing for food I got uh, some coconut cream barrels and uh, like I said whatever the syrup is so I get those cleaned out and this is the piece that I cut out for the battery to set on punched a bunch of holes in it just so that uh, sawdust and water and such could get out of there here's the engine mount I've marked it where the engines going to be uh, these red marks on here the final position where it's going to put it at and uh, so anyway I got to take this head off and do that welding because uh, some of it's near where the plastic is don't want to melt it well this metal's getting to be a, a little bit heavy so I'm having to resort to using uh, engine lift to uh, pick it up and move it around but I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to actually get it back on the rails it's not a convenient thing to find a lift point on so it might be kind of interesting and of course the engine hoist doesn't go underneath of the track so I may end up having to jack it up in the air so that I can get the uh, saw trolley back on there
Okay, so here's the saw head assembly. Um, got the mounts welded on to it. Uh, I think this is probably complete now. I have to install the plastic, but I wanted to shoot some paint down inside of the cavities before I did that. And uh, we'll get this put back up on the framework, make sure everything is going like it's supposed to back on the rails then I can start working on the guards I still have to add an idle pulley to this somewhere I think that'll be the conclusion of this part and uh, I'll see you again when we get some more done